It's antibodies that protect us from the COVID virus and the latest data from the Office for National Statistics seem to offer some hope. Eight out of 10 adults now have antibodies, most as a result of vaccination, 77% have now had one dose. The rest will have antibodies from being infected. So are we reaching herd immunity? That's when there aren't enough people vulnerable to the virus for it to spread through the population. And for the Delta variant, it's likely to be when roughly 80% of people are immune. Sadly, we're not there yet, and here's why. For a start, the ONS data just covers the 52 million adults in the UK. The 14 million children and teenagers under 18 aren't currently being vaccinated, but they can still spread the virus. So even if 80% of the adult population had protective levels of antibodies, it would still be just 63% of the total UK population, a long way short of herd immunity. But there's another crucial point. The ONS tests for antibodies. It doesn't measure how many people have. And that matters, because the more antibodies you have, the better your chances of stopping the infection. Just look at the real-world data. One dose of either the Pfizer or AstraZeneca vaccine is 33% effective in preventing a symptomatic infection from the Delta variant. The second dose boosts immunity, raising protection from the Pfizer vaccine to 88% and the AZ vaccine to at least 60%. That shows in the infection rates. Take Blackburn with Darwin, where they're rising fast, but only in people under 60, who are far less likely to have had two doses of the jab. It looks like we are now at the start of a third wave, but the number of cases will depend on the extent of the vaccine rollout. Delaying the final lifting of lockdown restrictions by just two weeks would mean an extra 2.2 million people getting their first dose and an extra 5 million getting their second. So we're not at herd immunity yet, but the more people who are vaccinated, particularly with two doses, the slower the spread of the virus. It's one of the factors government scientists will be considering when they advise ministers on whether it's safe to unlock on June the 21st.